DaVinci Resolve for noobs. A lot of people have asked me, hey Daniel, how can I get one item inside of my video clip to glow? And I see them try things like going to the effects tab and looking up out of stroke and bringing that glow down onto their clip, but nothing glows inside of it. And the reason for that is it applies the glow to the outside of the clip, the entire video clip itself, not to objects inside of it. So to do that, what you'd need to do is open up your clip in the fusion page and with the media in one node selected, hit shift space bar on your keyboard and look for magic mask and add that into your node tree. Now magic mask is only available in the studio version. And the reason I'm doing it this way is you could manually mask out and track around a person or an object, but it can be incredibly painstaking. And if this is something you're going to be doing more than once, I would absolutely recommend picking up a studio license and using the magic mask instead. Now I'm going to switch to the legacy version of magic mask because it's a little faster than the one in version 20. And I'm just going to left click and hold and draw inside of the person on screen. And that will mask out the background. There's a couple little areas here. I'm gonna click on the subtract pen tool and draw red right here where I see some issues. And then I just track forward and backwards so that I can mask this person out from the clip itself. Once that's done tracking, go back to the edit page, go up to effects, make sure the search bar is set for all folders and look for outer stroke. Bring that down and put it onto your clip. And in the upper right, we want to change the border edge from box to Gaussian. That will allow us to create a glow instead of a straight line. Keep in mind, if you want a larger glow, you can actually select inside of the number box and type in 0.1. That'll give you a much larger glow if you need it. And then you can just select the color that you want for that particular glow. Outer stroke also comes with a drop shadow, which you can turn all the way down if you don't want the drop shadow in there. Then in your timeline, grab that clip, left click and hold and drag it up into another track. And then up in your media pool, just grab the original clip and bring it down directly below your original clip. And now you'll have that object glowing within the clip itself. 